Mobile phones today have become an integral part of our lives. So much so that we start feeling uneasy when separated from our phones. There are more than 4 billion mobile phone users in the world. Mobile phones have made our lives much easier by enabling us to remain connected to the rest of the world. But is mobile phone radiation harmful to living beings? To answer this, we need to understand what are ionizing and non-ionizing radiations. If a radiation carries enough energy to knock out electrons from atoms or molecules, then such a radiation is an ionizing radiation. Examples are gamma rays and x-rays. This type of radiation is harmful to living beings. Exposure to such radiation can lead to burns, cancers and genetic mutations. So it is better to stay away from them unless you want to mutate to get supernatural powers. But chances of death after such exposure are much higher than turning into Spider-Man. On the other hand, a non-ionizing radiation is the one that does not carry enough energy to knock out electrons from atoms or molecules. Sunlight, infrared waves, and mobile tower radiation are its examples. They do not produce any lethal effects in living tissues like ionizing radiation. But is exposure to mobile phone radiation completely safe? In 2011, International Agency for Research on Cancer classified mobile phone radiation as possibly carcinogenic. But WHO added that to date no adverse health effects have been established as being caused by mobile phone use. The mobile phone radiation does produce a heating effect and leads to rise in temperature of the surface of the head by a fraction of a degree. But this rise is smaller than the increase in temperature of head under direct sunlight. So far, no study has been conclusive enough to link mobile phone radiation with cancer. But what about other animals? In 2010, a group of experts reviewed 919 studies performed worldwide regarding the effects of cell phone towers on birds, insects, animals, wildlife, and humans. Out of the 919 studies, 593 showed that mobile tower radiation had negative impact on animal life. They also held it responsible as a possible cause of decline in population of some species. In 2014, an environmental science experts team attributed disappearance of house sparrows in Indian cities to mobile radiation. According to them, long-term exposure to mobile radiation has damaging effects on the nervous and immune system of small animals. Also, many species use magnetic navigation and mobile radiation can interfere with their sensors and misguide them while navigating and praying. We know now that mobile phones can be labeled as safe for humans as per studies carried out so far on the subject and we must hope that future studies also prove them to be safe for all living beings not only humans